Good morning friends and welcome to the homestead. Today we're going to talk about chickens and eggs and whether tractor supply, the U.S. government, and big corporations are conspiring together to take away egg production from your backyard chickens. Let's go. So we're going to talk about reasons your chickens aren't laying. We're going to talk about solutions to help them lay. We're going to talk about some feed science. We're going to talk about how these girls are doing right here. And then we're also going to look at six different brands of feed that are available to mostly everybody. So right here I've got some cracked corn and this is good to give them a little extra fat and energy in the winter time. And it's also good for something else I'm going to talk about when I talk about the feed science. So I'll talk about this in a minute too. This is our Texas Pride, 18% a layer pellet, and it's a great feed we get from our local feed store. And would you look at that? The Rhode Islands hooked me up this morning. Just one out of the two of them that are in the center, but that's good. So let me talk for a minute about this. Evil men will conspire together to harm those who are less fortunate and those who they think are beneath them, which is usually the rest of us, right? And that is, has been no different over time. And it is about sin, and it is about power, and it is about money, and all of that. Is that the case in this particular case? I don't think so, but you know, anything is possible. Let's talk about why your chickens are not laying. Oh, first, I have to mention, I've been getting a lot of comments on older videos that I did about why chickens aren't laying. So I've done these videos for years and, you know, just added a little bit of different information in on them over the years. And now I'm getting comments on those old videos saying, oh my goodness, it's tractor supply in the feed. And <laughs> come on, one of them said, Joe Biden is conspiring to keep your chickens from laying eggs. I mean, it could have been a joke, but, and maybe it was. It was kind of a dumb joke. So are there people out there experiencing no eggs from the chickens? Absolutely. Are there people out there that are experiencing the opposite and still getting the same egg production out of their chickens as normal per the conditions? Yes, absolutely. So Arms Family Homestead, uh, Daniel free ranges his chickens and he has seen just the normal winter drop off from his chickens. They free range and forage and they pick up feed from other animals. I don't think he really feeds them that much at all because they're getting all their nutrition from out there, which is normally what a chicken would get. There is another uh, channel, I cannot remember the name of the channel, but she is a chicken breeder. She sells hatching eggs for exotic chickens. She has seen no drop off in her egg production um, and nothing abnormal beyond the normal winter issues that hurt everybody. Well, they don't really hurt, but it's normal for chickens to drop off laying during the winter. Now, I told you in a previous video that I also talk regularly with a gentleman who's been showing chickens and breeding chickens his entire life. He's up at the local feed store and he's like 65 years old, right? So he's been doing that his entire life. He has said that this year was a slight bit different, but not completely abnormal. It is the huge temperature fluctuations we're having down here in Texas right now that's really affecting his chickens, but he's still getting eggs. It's just dropped a little lower than normal. But just like with the weather, we're gonna have fluctuations all the time. Now, somebody yelled at me the other day. I think I just said that. She yelled at me, it's not about the weather, it's about the feed. And I'm like, okay, look, there are about 11 different factors that come into play, and we're gonna talk about that right now. There are 11 different factors that come into play, feed is one of them, when chickens drop off their egg production. If you wanna see my video on the eight top reasons why your chickens aren't laying, click on the video at the top of the screen. Okay, let's run through them really quick. Light, chickens need hens need between 14 and 16 hours of light per day to be able to lay on their normal egg cycle. Age, as your chickens get older, past the age of three, their egg production will drop down dramatically. 
Predators and noise kind of go hand in hand. They're two separate things. If it's too noisy, if there's a lot of crazy stuff going on, they're gonna shut their egg production down. Also, if there are a lot of predators that are kind of, even not even getting into the coop, but attacking the coop and lurking around the coop, that's gonna shut their egg production down or slow it down also. I just talked about weather swings. We had two months of 100 degree weather this summer. These guys kept laying through that, but my barred rocks and my Rhode Islands stopped laying. And that leads me into breeds. So some breeds are more sensitive to environmental factors than other breeds. Americanas or these Easter eggers, same thing. And the leghorns don't really slow down production when different things happen. However, Rhode Islands are highly sensitive and so are barred rocks, but not as sensitive sensitive as the Rhode Islands. So if you find that those breeds are slowing down or stopping their egg production, it's probably due to some environmental factors. Illness and trauma, they both kind of go hand in hand, but if you've got an illness in the chicken or they've got lice, mites, anything like that, worms, they're gonna slow their egg production down. Trauma, I had two uh, Rhode Island hens that were pecked really bad and picked on really bad. I nursed them back to health, but they haven't laid anymore. So they may be going to the neighbor for some soup. And the next is nutrition. And that's what this whole controversy is about. It's important to have proper nutrition for your chickens for them to continue to lay properly. Let's take a look at the feeds that we've used. I looked at six different feeds that are available in my area from Tractor Supply and some other places. And we'll talk about what's in them. We'll talk about two essential amino acids that are really important for egg production. And then we'll talk about whether this conspiracy has any legs to it from a scientific standpoint. Although yes, I understand that scientific outcomes can be manipulated when you're talking about the cash. Let me show you what we feed our chickens and the eggs that we got this morning. Don't mind the poopy eggs of having a nesting box issue right now, but I've got uh, eight eggs in here from our leghorns and Easter eggers. So we also got one from the Rhode Island. So this is pretty good for the number of chickens that I have. So if I have to go to tractor supply, I do buy the nature's best organic feeds. And I've bought the do more before, I've bought the producer's pride before, but this is my normal go-to if I have to go to tractor supply but I've switched from going to them because of their shenanigans. This one is made, I think, in Pennsylvania or something. What is this? Yeah, it's Pennsylvania. And this one is made in Texas. This is Texas Natural Feeds. This is soy-free non-GMO. It's not organic, but soy-free non-GMO. It's pellets. These are an 18% uh, protein pellet and They've got 0.8% uh, lysine and 0.4% methionine. So the feeds that we looked at were Do More, Producer's Pride, Nature's Best Organic, the Texas Naturals, uh, Neutrina, I think it is. Oh, it's Nature Wise, it's made by Neutrina, and Big V Foods. Big V is out of Oklahoma, and I don't know where the other ones come from. There are 6,000, actually 5,800 to 6,000 feed mills around the United States. So the ones that are getting private labeled, like Producers Pride, which Tractor Supplies sells, is all coming from Purina factories all over the country. And of those roughly 6,000 feed mills, uh, most of them are owned by six big corporations, Cargrill, Archer Daniels Midland, Purina, Neutrina, and I can't remember the other ones. So besides lysine and methionine, sodium and phosphorus are two really important um, nutrients for your chickens to lay eggs. Now the lysine and methionine are amino acids that help in synthesizing proteins. So obviously having higher levels of those is going to help your chickens lay more eggs. But let me tell you, between all the brands that I just mentioned and the ones that I used, there is hardly any difference in the levels in those different brands. So let's take the lowest one, which is the producer's pride. It has only 0.6% of lysine in it. 
and 0.3% methionine. The two highest for lysine at 0.8% are the Nature's Best Organic and the Texas Naturals. But they've got a little less methionine in them at 0.25%. NatureWise, Do More, and Big V for lysine are all 0.75%. And methionine, 0.35%. So you can see they're pretty close. And all these feeds are 16% crude protein, except for the Texas Naturals that I use is 18%. But here's what people don't understand. There has been a lot of studies out there that foraging actually gives your chickens the proper amount of both lysine and methionine that they need for good egg production. All the plants and bugs that they eat while free ranging provides enough for them. Now, one of the solutions to this is to make your own feed. Both corn gluten meal, which is the endosperm on the outside, and soybean meal, which is the same thing, provide high levels of lysine, 1.85%, which is way more than any of the bagged feeds are giving them. And it also provides a high level of methionine. So friends, I think that you can mix your own feed and come up with better results than the pellets or crumbles that you're buying at the big box stores. Now the highest methionine level that you can get is from fish meal and that's at 2.15%. So if you can get that, then add that to your feed as well. But your chickens can absolutely eat a foraging diet that's not vegetarian because they're eating bugs, or you can make them vegetarian feed with lentils, with corn, with uh, oats, and flax and all of that, and it's probably gonna cost you less. So the solutions are to make your own feed, to increase your protein intake for your chickens in the winter time, because that's when they need it. So add extra protein or high protein pellets for them in the winter. That's what the lady does who breeds um, for uh, hatching eggs. She adds like a 23% or it might have even been, I could be dyslexic there, it could have been a 32% like super power jump in uh, protein for her chickens during the winter and she increases her light. So if you are worried about companies potentially doing something to the feed, change your feed. Look for smaller feed stores. Get rid of the big box junk, right? Go to your small um, local grain elevators, feed stores, whatever you call them in your state and buy from them because they're usually getting from a smaller supplier in your area. And here's something I forgot to mention. I'm out right now, so this is empty, but this gives a lot of calcium and protein to your chickens. So add some uh, mealworms, or these, these are soldier fly larvae, the grub teras, um, add, add that in in the wintertime at a heavier dose, and that will help them with their egg production. But overall, friends, feed your chickens a good diet, and they will produce for you. Give them everything they need. Give them a wide range of different things. Give them table scraps. Give them stuff from the garden, like your extra collard green leaves or your kale, because that's high in calcium, and that's going to help with uh, shell production and uh, shell strength. If I could free range mine, I would let them, but obviously you can see the crazy dog in the background won't allow me to do that. I wanna to mention too, that this is an important reason for all of us to unplug from the big corporate systems, right? And to be more self-sufficient. Not only the food that we buy and feed to our chickens, but the food we buy and feed to ourselves and our families. It's important. Get away from the Walmart if you can and start growing food for yourself. So yes, it's true recently, I believe that the Producers Pride brand, that the information came out of somewhere, I personally didn't see it, but I saw people reading um, the information and they said that they have reduced the protein content in their feed. Now, I don't know if that's reducing the lysine and methionine or the overall protein content because it still says 16% layer feed. So I know in a lot of states, the ag departments of each state are going around and they're testing the feed all over the place. Could they have been paid off in, I don't know, Texas? Maybe, I don't know. Could they have been paid off uh, to look the other way on the percentage of protein in all 50 states? Uh, probably not. So evil men are everywhere in every corporation and every government. Do I think that our government is involved in it? I don't think so. Uh, but I don't put anything past anyone, right? God's government is the only government that is invaluable. 
And all these things can be distractions, like I talked about before, to take us away from our study of God's Word. So if this video has been helpful for you, click that like button and subscribe. And I hope the data that I gave you will help you make a decision on whether to buy feeds from the stores or to make your own. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section below. Now go check out this video right here, which is our video on when to take your chicks from your brooder to the coop. Have a beautiful, blessed day. We'll see you next time. Bye.